good. I was surprised. Some of the sessions were pretty good. Very business focused, but in a good way. So I worked with Disney for three years in, uh, for, uh, at television. So we used to run four channels. So I was the creative head for those. So we swapped studios mid-project, which is a nightmare because you're suddenly dealing with a whole new bunch of artists. Uh, after having already done a certain amount of the film, so that was a huge stumbling block. There was a, like a year's gap between studios, so time, you know, stuff like that. It, it was pretty hard to do. You know what our people tend to do and what they've done so far, they take this, first of all they believe this bullshit, right, that uh, oh, mythology is done to death, because it really hasn't. Look at the product out there, right? What they do when they take the subject matter is they turn it into parody. You know, so they convert, they'll take Krishna, who's got a great political, amazing story of a life of a man who was disenfranchised and became a god. Now just think of that as a storyline track, it's amazing. But then they'll turn him into this butter-eating little moron, Episode after episode, and that's all they do, you know, because there's nut cut, whatever, whatever. And that's where it stops and starts. Keep doing that, then, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. But if you get into the stories, even that, as you've heard as a child, and just treat them for what they are, you've got fantastic stuff. And just like you said, yeah, to rival Japan or anywhere else in the world. Because they assume animation hai, bacho ke liye hai, ye hai, oh, it's a kid's product, it's not for me anyway, or whatever, you know, there's a whole bunch of cynicism that goes into making that product. And 90% of the product is built from that kind of cynicism, you know. It's a purely business proposal, it's not about the stories, it's not about the artists, not, not, it's just that. And it has its own place, but it's not going to grow our industry, it's not going to, you know, take our stories out of this country. The animation, also the fact that our audiences, you know, by... The scale is too vast. Look at television, right? If you are a mainstream general entertainment channel, you're talking to 250 million households every day. How can your product be exciting? You tell me, like a joke that makes 250 million people laugh will be a shit joke, right? Same goes for everything else. Right? So, but it's, it's our advantage and it's our disadvantage because you have to make everything spread thin. Niche is the market, <laughs> by definition. You know, that's the only way to do it, you know, is do it small. I mean, if, if there are people passionate and dedicated and, you know, artists who really want to do it, don't go for scale. You know, don't say, I'm going to change the world with this. Don't say, I'm going to get millions of but, people. But if we, without passion, we are dead because there's not... <laughs> There's really not, you know, if you have to analyze it in a business sense, yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> There's a kick, you know, from like, that any artist get, you know, musicians get it, artists get it, you know, just to see your stuff come alive, it's a kick. So, it's a weird one, but I guess that's, that's all it is. Yeah, We've got, because we do so much Hollywood work, you know. Here, our studios here are doing stuff for Pixar, we're doing stuff for DreamWorks, we're doing stuff for studios all over the world. So we have the technical ability, we have the skill sets to execute, right? Problem is, we can't afford to make product for ourselves in those same parameters, right? Because we can, we can, we can do the $250 million animation film and we can do it, but you cannot make a $250 million animation film for India because you're not going to even make that much of it back. So for India, you'll make a $2 billion animation film, which is not going to be in the same, you know. We have the storytelling skill, let me put it that way, we do. But we don't have the product, no? <laughs> because we make this product, which is this asinine, moronic, infantile thing, whether it's for kids or for adults, you know, because it has to please so many people. So all of, most of our big hit films, most of them, a pantomime, right? I mean, it's just, what is it? It's like so basic in terms of black, white, good, bad, you know? And it stayed at that level for the longest time. So it's like a notunky, basically, with lots of money thrown at it. Right, so and that's not going to travel there. I mean, it'll keep everyone laughing and clapping and cheering and here. But 
There's no layers to it. There's no more to it. Television is a good place. However, again, very difficult because you're competing with really cheap imports. You know, like when we buy uh, animation from Japan or Korea or stuff, people are buying them at like four or five hundred dollars for a half hour, and they're buying like hundreds of episodes. Correct. No Indian studio can match that price on an original product for India. So the industry is already face struggling against that. The good thing is we have some really good breakout success stories like Chota Bhim and all, which is like changed the television landscape, gives the animation industry hope. I'll give you a statistic. Our entire media industry, everything, advertising, South North. Everything combined, all of media is 17 billion dollars. It's one seven, 17 billion. Okay, just one company, the Walt Disney Company, is 40 billion dollars. So you're talking the whole of India. You're talking one company in America. So look at the scale difference. So they can make 250 dollar, uh, 250 million dollar films, no problem. So they'll make back a billion. We can't make more than a hundred crore film because the max, the top film, will make 300 crores which is what, $20 million? The work costs go to the star. The huge bulk of that 100 crores is him. Then a big chunk of the 100 crores is marketing. And then what do you have left over? It's like not much. No, no, there is, there is. Like I said, passion. <laughs> because there's no growth. I don't know, there is. It's people breaking out to do niche product. That is the hope. Okay, it's become easier today to make a film. It's make it easier today to make music. It's become easier today to be an artist. Like 20 years ago, you could not record an album in your bedroom. Right, today you can. Technology is cheap, affordable, lets you do that. Right, distribution is becoming easier for visual filmmakers. Distribution has already become uh, easy for musicians. Right, so that's changing. That is the hope story. You know, soon you'll be your own boss. You'll be able to distribute your own content. You'll be able to dis uh, own your own content. You'll be, you can run your own things and dictate terms. That's the hope story. No, it's still, it's still what drives most filmmakers. You know, the big screen experience is just, there's nothing to beat it. You know, everyone's talking about, oh, you know, you should think of making films for mobile and all. Like, who's interested? Yeah, that stuff is good. Even TV, see there's TV, web and all those like device type consumption, which is fine, all good in its place, but nothing beats captive audience in a dark room on a huge projection. Nothing can beat that. See this distribution ability, you know, the technology and distribution becoming really truly democratic. You know, once that happens, the possibilities are endless. Uh, and it's going to happen. You know, so young animators can make stuff on their own. You know, they can distribute stuff on their own festivals. So it's already happening. You know, so my wish list would be, I know that just, you just get more and more people out there who want to do it this way, you know, do it with their minds rather than thinking about what an audience wants or what a business plan would be. Just do it for yourself first. So it's a, the last one was a, it's basically an event-based film. It's a lot of events that made his life. And this one's about him. It's about him and his son. So it's a father-son story. Um, yeah, it's a tragedy. Everyone knows yeah. that. So it should be good. See, one film that really inspired me from uh, many years ago was uh, Ram Mohan had done a, a Japanese collaborated Ramayan, a Yugo Sako Ramayan. Legend of Prince Ram, beautiful piece. You know, stunning work, great collaboration. It's very Indian, but it's very Japanese. It's got this lovely textural handmade thing. I recommend everyone should watch that film. It's quite amazing. You know, it gave me hope that, you know, yes, that's what we should be, that hand-painted thing is what we should be doing. Another big film for me in the recent past, it's not from India, but there's a film called Persistence of Vision. It's about uh, Richard Williams, who's this legendary animator who made uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. 
he's been he well he stopped now but he worked on a feature film for 30 years and never finished it and it's about that film it's quite an amazing film it's the hardest thing in the world i'm telling you it's the hardest thing to do especially when you're in a see is i wouldn't even put it as flat as you have to dumb it down it's just that dumb down is safe so when it when it's designed by committee they'll go safe no you can't get 20 people to say let's take a risk because 20 people are not going to do that 20 people are going to say so, and it's all corporate run everything is corporate Right, so it will be path of re least resistance on everything. So that's the hardest struggle for a creative person, you know. And you'll hear lectures from people saying, you must respect your audience and work for them and take your personality out of it and all. Sure, I mean, there are people who can do that and there are people who can't. Hopefully, we're going to start coming up with it. I mean, with films like Arjun or Ram Mohan's or, you know, I'm hoping at some point that we start establishing our own sense of anime, you know, because our stories are our own, our fighting styles are whatever, you know, because the one good thing I've got from all the festivals I've been to with this film is that they feel it's unique. It doesn't feel, it's not like a manga film, it's not like an American film, it's not like a European film, it's not, it's just Indian all over, you know, so... There's hope in that. So as we do more and more of this, maybe people will stop doing the parody stuff and start treating the stories seriously and treat them straight. We'll get that body of work that gives us a signature. But then all it needs is two hours on Photoshop. <laughs> that's all it. Seriously, that's all it needs. How long does it take? You know, give them a stylus, give them a screen. It'll be done in two hours. <laughs> There's five things, things to choose from. That's all you know, that's so then I, it's the problem of the industry. They should hire these five artists saying, you know, I need storyboard artists. I need uh, pre-visualizers. I need matte painters. I need, you know, if everybody needs all this. Why can't you take these fine arts guys? Yeah. Just throw them into a... I mean, seriously, Photoshop, what, how long does it take to learn? Mm. It's a piece of philosophy. Uh, As animators, we stay young, we stay young to the end of our lives because when you're working on something, no? we, we break it down to the microsecond, right? So for me, a minute can last up to six months, right? So as a result, because my time of every day is exactly the same the way I spend my day, except it's just a little bit different, I'll live a very long time.